So this is the alien cube. Um, it is supposedly Lovecraftian in nature. I don't know much beyond that, because that's as far as I read in the description before I decided to get it. So, let's just, let's just do it. Chapter 1. The Event. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all of its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of the black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. H.P. Lovecraft. We loading? We loading. We loading again. <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. Oh, good start. Yep. Hanging bodies, waking up in a cave. Lovely. Where am I? What am I doing here? Left the mouse, space to jump, to the crouch. Got it. All right. Indeed, Hafenpong. In fact, you missed an entire game. Um, we're, we're on our third game for the night. But you're just in time to start the third game, so that's good timing. All right. So this is the alien cube. We wake up on a bloody, rusty cot with wiggly person dangling by their feet, soaked in blood from over there. Always a good start. With um, a statue of sorts. Bloody skull and a pool of skulls. Okay, great. Love it. Alright, so that's that's that. Um can we do anything about you up here? No, we cannot. Stop wiggling though. Hmm. Sorry. Didn't make it in time. The man in the picture is me. How is that possible? What is this place? From here I can see outside, but the crack is too small to get through. I must find another way out. It's a lovely outside. Saw this then. Oh, we got we got a tricks raiding party, and we got a pine showing up. Hello, everybody. This is a a new horror game called The Alien Cube, and I know nothing about it beyond that, other than it is Lovecraftian in nature. We are done with that tricks. It has been completed. They've given me the opportunity to fall in here for a reason. But also, I don't wanna. What are these gears for? It seems like there's some huge machinery behind this wall.
Should I go fall down that hole? No, no down. Okay, no down. Do a flip. All right, all right. And hook. Dead. Right. <laughs> Understood. We do know now, yes. Right, clicky, just in case I need clicky. And this is apparently towards out, hopefully. Big old door. Big stone doors are firmly closed. This mechanism must be here to open them. Indeed. Doesn't work. Seems like the gear is missing. Um, but what was that sound? Oh, we got a voice. Hooray! Also, out of curiosity, go look at what just came out of the well. Good. It was nothing. It was definitely absolutely nothing. Uh-huh. Side now. Nothing more bad could possibly happen. Now that we're in the lovely, loving embrace of Mother Nature. Uh huh. Yep, nothing, nothing bad could possibly happen. Oh, that is actually really pretty. No no snakes or anything or spiders or axe murderers or rednecks. Exactly. We're fine. They're pretty. Lovely. Oh, and don't worry, Tricks. I take screenshots like an addict. I usually judge how well I like the visuals of a game by how many screenshots screenshots I take per hour. And I do indeed measure by the hour. Yeah, I enjoy looking back too. Every once in a while, there will be a game that I'm so engrossed in that I'll forget to take a screenshot. And then I, I end up kicking myself over it. Oh. I found a secret. Nice. I should remap the, the screenshot onto a foot pedal. I probably should, actually. Because I do find myself occasionally having a hard time reaching for the, the F12. Alright, let's go back the way that they probably want me to go. But, knowing that there are wandering secrets uh, does make me want to keep an eye out. Let's 
So we have some sort of ruins going on here. Tower in the middle there and then something barely off in the distance. <laughs> it happens, Trix. It happens. They're just browsing streams trying to hawk their wares. It's... It's a thing. In fairness, though, it's it's really hard to get any sort of exposure out there, so I can't really blame them. So it was only horrific at the very start. From now on, this is a peaceful nature exploration game. Definitely. Definitely. What's going on? Oh my god! No, no, no! Definitely peaceful nature exploration game. Yep. Alright then. Um, cool. <laughs> it's about to get fucked o'clock. fine until it wasn't the um the dirt on my eyeballs is a little bit intense the whispering is also a little bit intense Got fake nails. Oh, that's right. Oh, hey, green glowy thing. Hi, green glowy thing. Nothing bad will happen if I touch this, right? It was all a dream. Yes. Whoa. What time is it? The dream. It was so realistic and disturbing. Everything I felt was so real. Ugh, I'm so tired. I need to go to the bathroom and freshen up. Alright. Oh, I have little feetsies. I didn't even notice. I never looked down in the cave. Laundry room. With curtain. Alright, cool. It's gonna not close that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Indeed. Damn dirty eyeballs. Oh, press J to open and close your journal. Oh, hey, we got a journal. My dreams. Tonight, I find myself writing on the pages of my journal once more, hoping it helps me to fall asleep and to find peace again. Nights are troubled by sudden and unexplainable awakenings more and more often. 
Immediately afterwards, I've bathed in sweat. I feel terribly tired and have an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something upsetting that I don't remember. On second thought, though, all of this could be due to recent events. The breakup with Jenny, the move, and finally my Uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter event in particular must have upset me more than I have expected, considering the unclear nature of the facts. But the newspaper reports is very strange indeed. Only God knows what happens to him. My new home hasn't helped to improve my situation. Perhaps it's just too early. I need more time. Well, those are certainly some drawings that he's got there that uh, are part of dreams, indeed. Yeah, lights. Bathroom. Wonderful. Let's finish exploring, though. Oh, alright. We're just gonna eat everything on the table. Cool. Can I have this loaf of whatever that is? The move was exhausting. I still have to arrange so many things. Milk, eggs, juice, dish soap, rat poison, and call Pete back. Some of those things may be related. Hey, Pete, come here. I've made something for you. Alright, fine. That is a lovely bathroom. I like it. I can't stop thinking about that dream. It was as if the strange object was calling me. I was feeling a deep, primordial instinct that disturbed me. Ding dong? Yes, hi, hello. Who's at the door? Oh, it's probably the postman. Hmm, keeping your tub full of dirty water? A little bit of concern, man. A little bit of a concern. I'm just gonna turn on all the lights. It'll be fine. Turn on all of the lights. There we go. Better. Noises. Drums just subbed. Thank you, drums. I appreciate it. <laughs> Narrator. It was not the postman. Telephonon? I should call Jennifer, but not now. I just want to have a chill day. Wait. Jennifer as in the Jenny you broke up with? No, you should not call your ex, dude. That's going to be the most horrific part of the game. How's it going, drums? My cassette player. I'm not going anywhere without that. Alright, bud. You have your unique needs and everything. Someone's at the door. Better take the time to light up the fireplace. Clock that Jenny gave me many years ago. It doesn't work, but I'm keeping it in remembrance of her. Ah, he has not moved on. In the least. My collection of ancient books. I still need to arrange them on the bookshelves. Car keys. Lovely. Chill day off. Wonderful. That's my new computer. It cost me a small fortune. It will allow me to work more often from home, though. That is a seller on PC. All right. Who can tell me what era we're in just based on this computer? And, of course, the fact that he carries around a cassette tape player. Also, The Land of Pain. Which apparently is a spiritual precursor to this game that I may, might end up needing to play. I was going to go with mid-90s, but... Early 90s might might work. I think mid 90s to very early 2000s might be it. Okay, right. Doorbell. Hi. Yes, I'm coming. It was just a letter. Edgar's letter. Arthur, my dear nephew. If you're reading this letter, it means I am gone. I have instructions to a close friend to, get, to deliver this message to you in the event that something bad should happen to me. 
In the last few years, we lost contact with one another. I know, I'm sorry for that. My life changed a lot, and I am only a shadow of the man you knew when you were a child. I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I haven't always been there for you, but I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me for that. As you know, I have never been married or had children, so I decided to leave you all my possessions, even though I don't own a lot. Your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains, which used to belong to your grandparents. This is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building at number 13 Oldwood Street in Winter Falls. It's quite old and in bad condition, but I could not afford anything better. Amongst my belongings, you'll probably find some things you won't be able to, won't be able to make sense of. I ask you to discard everything without question. I am referring in particular to my manuscripts. They are very personal, and as you will perhaps have been told, writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you therefore not to read them, and not to delve into my research. Get rid of everything so that nothing can be found. You will find the apartment key in this envelope. Do what you desire with it, but I beg you respect my last wish. You have I have always loved you, your Uncle Edgar. Well then. Um Ed Edgar? Ed Edgar, let me out. Let me out of the oh this is the eternal horror of this of this game. Being stuck forever reading the last letter of a dead relative. Yeah, I had a PC tower just like that too. And I have my I have my Walkman cassette player. I had I even had a little mini um, a little mini cassette player that played cassettes that were like this big. It was adorable. They had like one song on them each. Um. Aha! Got it. Letter. Right click. Got it. It's a letter from my uncle Edgar. It seems that he left me his old flat in town to me. I didn't expect that, but I better go there immediately. I can't go out with my pajamas on. Must something wear, wear something more appropriate. But you said immediately, sir. All right, fine. Um, I don't remember that being flickery, but I also turned it on without looking at it, so I suppose that's fair. You just don't flicker. Just stop that. All right. Time to change clothes. Now we can go. Just gonna leave that fireplace on, it'll be fine. Nothing bad could possibly happen. It'll be a long trip. Edgar's flat is many hours away. Chapter 2. The Apartment. Uncle Edgar disappeared more than a week ago, yet I've just received a letter from him only to find out that I'm his sole heir. It is such a long time since I last saw him. I was only a child at the time, but he must have fond enough mem uh, he must have been fond enough of me to leave me his possessions as a legacy. I've never seen where he moved to in the last few years, but after having driven for many hours and not having enough time to read the thing, hey, I have finally reached my destination. The address given in the letter had me uh, led me here to the apartment, um, which is the old building in the worst district in Winter Falls. The apartment should be up there on the top floor. Ah, lovely place. <laughs> I was just looking at the stuff alone. Uh, I just noticed at the top, I died here. Well, congratulations. Apparently you got better enough to write it. Whoops. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, that's a spooky hallway. Yep. Mm -hmm. I thought you said top floor. But there's no reason to go this way. Alright, fine. Okay. Not the right apartment. I'm assuming you're not going to tell me which one the right apartment is then. Not the right apartment.
Here it is, Edgar's flat. Right, I'm gonna go knock on this one. Damn it, can't knock on this one. Oh, hey! Got a secret. Hey, Drex. We have buff gnome in the corner here. Very buff gnome. He looks tough and ready to rumble. The lights were on all this time. <laughs> Okie dokie. Call the cops, please. No phone line. Okay. Cool. Uh huh. Right. It won't. It won't open. There's something on the other side blocking the door. Cool. Uh huh. Love it. Love it. I'm just gonna just close that. Ah. It doesn't work. Right. What happened to this mirror? question. Good question. The drawer is locked. More locked drawers. Page! A page from Edgar's journal. Finally, after many years, I returned to the old family home. Unfortunately, when I arrived, I saw nothing of the house was left. Everything had been reduced to a sad pile of rubble. However, it was there, among all the debris, that I found the strange chest. Although clearly very ancient, it was exquisitely crafted made from fine wood and decorated with strange geometric symbols that I had never seen before. At first, I didn't notice this, as when I was a child, I was used to seeing all kinds of bizarre objects around the house. First, who knew who found, puh, found who knows where by my father during one of his countless journeys. The chest, however, had something sinister and mysterious about it, so I decided to extract it from the debris to try to open it. I hope that writing this journal will help me overcome my shock at my discovery, because what I found inside that terrible chest uh, is not something that I could uh, that could belong to this world. I see. Right. Clearly, a virtuoso of his time. All right, nothing in there. <clears throat> Good. Burp. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Why? Why? So no handle on this door. Great. Ah, there is indeed a pizza. It is Vinny's Pizza. Ah. Yes, we should absolutely go through the broken glass window. Um, I don't think we have a choice, actually, so we're, we're going through. Food. Nom. Damn. Right. Ugh, that food was spoiled. I shouldn't have eaten it. That is not going to stop me from eating everything that I find. If I could have eaten the pizza, I would have. Hmm. Should we go through the mysterious flesh hole? 
I don't feel like I want to go through the mysterious flesh hole. I don't, I don't think that's generally a good idea. Ugh, there's a terrible smell here. How can my uncle live in this condition? Um... Right. Mysterious flesh hole. Ugh. What's that disgusting substance? It smells terrible. I don't like the idea at all, but I can try to get through that hole. Mysterious flesh hole. And boot to the head. And credits, game over. Our man just died from blunt force trauma to the skull. I found out where it is. It seems the god eye is hidden there. I can't hear them at all. Like, they're mumbly. Yes, my lord. I will go there immediately. <sighs> So, is th this is not where the mysterious flesh hole was. I don't see any mysterious flesh, so, um, locked. I have to find another way out of here. Alright. Well, uh, that definitely narrows options. Um, cool. When you say you have to find another way out of here, are you referring to metaphorically? Uh, cause, I don't know, move? What was, what was move? Ah, down there. There's a grate, it looks quite weak. I, this passage is very narrow, but I have to try. Ah. Yeah, if only we could turn into a bat and fly through the narrow gaps. Instead, this guy's got to crawl on his hands and knees and get booted to the skull occasionally. Ah, mysterious flesh hole, we found you. Lovely. You squishy, 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 squishy. All right, anything else? Journal of a member of the order. October 30th, the disappearance of old William's son, Edgar Mitchell, caused us quite a few problems. It has been hard to keep track of every officer, but uh, fortunately they didn't find out anything at the scene of the fire. The purpose of that building must remain secret at all costs. At the moment, the case is in the hands of our men and the police. The de that detective won't set foot in our territories anymore. However, we must find what happened to Edgar and close the case before someone else snoops around. We'll start by checking his apartment. November 15th. We have proof of the existence of the god's eye. The priestess was right. During the inspection of Edgar's apartment, we found some papers belonging to his father, Old William. Everything suggests that he was in possession of a sacred artifact without us knowing it. How is it possible that such a trusted member of the Order betrayed us? We were trying to understand what, what, uh, where his hiding place is. All signs point to location out of town, where there used to be an ancient village inhabited by our ancestors. Alright. I am not entirely sure what I'm looking at, other than something on a shelf. A picture of a tower of sorts. This... Looks like it might have been his apartment. I don't recall seeing that. Yeah. That I do recognize. That's the the green mirror. Attic ceiling hole. That was the Tower of Babylon. Okay, it looked it looked familiar. Were they spying on Uncle Edgar? Who are these people and what are they looking for? Indeed. Solid questions. 
It's locked. Alright, fine. We'll go through the mysterious flesh hole again. And no boot to the head this time. Wonderful. Um, so that was indeed right here. Painting. A strange crack beneath the painting. Maybe I can move it. I can't move it. It's firmly fixed to the wall. Ah, uh, alright. Alright, fine. So we had We had various pictures of things. Um, one of the pictures of things was this mirror. What happened to this mirror? Indeed. Um, I can't do anything about that. There was also a picture up. Trap door. But it's stuck. Alright, fine. Mold and dirt everywhere. Did Uncle ever clean? I'm gonna guess no. Yeah, I've seen multiple depictions of the Tower of Babel, and I don't know what actually it's supposed to have looked like, if it actually existed. Okay, um... The other thing was over here. Mechanism. There's a strange mechanism fitted into the wood. Something has been removed, showing the gears. Okie dokie. I need to find the horsey. Got it. Horsey, where are you? Clankety clank. Unless this is one of those things where I'm not supposed to solve it right now. I don't recall seeing a horsey. Can't move the painting. Need to find the horsey. Got a puppy dog. Great. Great, you say. Great. Great. There's something metal that's sparkling under the grate. With the right tool, I should be able to open it. Alright, so now we need a tool. And a lock drawer. So there's a lot going on in this... Uh, in this uh, little apartment, and not many, not many solutions to any of these problems yet. So I don't know if this is a now thing or a later thing. There we go. So we have mechanism with missing statuette, probably horsey. We have door without handle. We have. Um, a grate that requires a tool. We have a locked drawer. Um, and then we have a trap door that is stuck. I'm not entirely sure if that's all of the things, but that is all the things I've found so far. Oh. There's another door. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Where does that door lead? It was a Sumerian ziggurat. Okay. Okay. So it was the praying temple. Got it. Um, I'm not seeing any solutions at the moment. Um, I could go back through the mysterious flesh pit and see if there's any tools and whatnot for me. Screwdriver. Hey, that's a tool. Perfect. Hello? Is 
thought I heard a thing. Alrighty, half a punk. Thanks for hanging out. Have yourself a good night. Alright, so screwdriver. That's all. Hello. Family secrets. I'd never have imagined that my uncle could live in such squalor. The apartment is in very bad condition there, and, and there is dirt and mess everywhere. The weirdest thing was the presence of a hole in the kitchen, and a stranger who attacked me and locked me in a room. Luckily, I found a way out, but who was that psycho? He didn't look like a simple criminal. He behaved as if he was part of an organized group. I found some upsetting research in Uncle Edgar in the apartment next door. It seems that they were looking for an ancient artifact that was owned by Grandfather William. What else is hiding in, in his apartment? There are still many things to discover here. Who knows what Edgar was investigating before his disappearance. I thought Edgar specifically said, don't investigate. Which means we're investigating. Absolutely. Hello, kitty. Alright. Screwdriver. Great. Small key. Lovely. Alright. So then... Drawer? Indeed. Journal. A page from Edgar's journal. After that horrific discovery, finding the answers to my questions became a real obsession. So I started to study my father's old papers in depth. My research uncovered the existence of a mysterious order. Its origins are extremely ancient, but apparently it still exists today. Indeed, I found clear references to it in my father's notes. It seems that he was even a member. I also found out that in addition to the old cabin in the mountains, my father owned many other properties scattered around the area. I didn't even know. Why didn't he tell me about them? There was one place in particular that was very important to him, and it seems that he, hid, he did everything to keep it a secret. I made a map showing its location. I'm going to go there immediately. Well then, we should do that. Black Hill Forest, Black Hill Castle, Wolf Creek, uh, I'm assuming Stormfield, camping area, Northwood, Rock Valley, lovely. So did Grandfather William secretly own a piece of land? Edgar must have found that out and made this map. Gila, stop. Gila, stop. I'd better go there right away. I'll come back here later. I didn't catch the rest of that note, but basically, we haven't found all the puzzle pieces we need yet. Which is fair. I better go there now. I'll come back here later. Why, why did it just rip my face towards the door? It's fine. So, we still need a way into there. Which is probably that thing. So, we need that thing. Something to do with the Tower of Babel. The, paint, the painting that we can't lower. Um, some sort of way to unstick that trap door. We got the grate and we got the key for the drawer. And that mirror may or may not be a mystery. Hello? Oh, one of the things that written on the wall said, They're here. Chapter 3, The Secret Location. The road is getting arduous, but I should, I should be almost there. My grandfather's secret place should be in a valley near an ancient castle not far from here. With a bit of luck, I should be able to arrive there before anyone else. Those who captured me are uh, heading right there. How would he know that? Well, I suppose their, their note said something along the lines of knowing of a secret place. So yeah, that's fair. Oh, 
Lovely, lovely. Double checking the area. Making sure there's no secrets. Oh, nope. No reason to go that way. Okie dokie. <laughs> it just forces me back this way. Okay, that's fair. Go around the ever so secure chain. Oh, damn. That is, uh, that is quite the canyon. Avenging Tricks 9, this franchise never dies. <laughs> Thank you, Spargo. The engine's still warm. Somewhere got, someone got here before me. I mustn't get caught. Ah, uh, and here I was just running around like an idiot. Alright, um... Do I... Do I jump climb? I do jump climb. I'm still gonna run around like an idiot, though. Warning. No trespassing. If you say so. Oh. My grandfather's property should be behind that old building over there. Okay. 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 We go to that old building over there, then. What a... What a wild place to own land. A place where there's just giant holes down into the deepest depths of the earth. Where you might fall and die at any moment. Nation. Um, rumblies? Rumblies. Rumblies done. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Well, that feels like a problem. Um. I don't think I had the run jump skills for that. So, another way around, perhaps? We're supposed to be going forward. Um, just how to go forward might be the tricky bit. Don't have the ups for these. I mean, down might be an option, but uh, probably not. There's a building right up there, but I don't see any method to climb it. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, the tried and true method of pushing down a tree that was weak enough for me to push down and trusting it to be walkable. Good plan, sir. Good plan, great plan. I don't think I'm supposed to be going this way. But there was a perfectly walkable log right there. I couldn't help myself. So they did want me to do some exploration. Because there's hidden stuff everywhere. But I'm, I'm curious how much I should explore. Because I'm kind of bad at it. I see. There's a down. Wonderful. Um, but first, ow, my ankles. It doesn't look like there's much to explore out here. It's pretty. It's very pretty. But I don't think there's anything actually here. So, let's go into the creepy tunnel. Why does this man not carry a flashlight, by the way? Well, we knew that was going to happen. Ow. hard to know what's the right way and what is exploring elsewhere. Alright. Well, this is probably the right way then, but I need fuel first. That's dynamite. Alright. Cool. Can I have some? So I technically explored the right way first, but it's the last right way, rather than the first right way. We have a left and a right. Um, so, so far, I haven't mentioned too terribly much yet, but this is very pretty. This is a very, very gorgeous game. Um, also does pretty good with the the tension. And so far not too terribly many like actual jump scary type spoops. Ooh, alright. That's safe for sure. Lever. Um pull that in a sec, hang on. Explorer's journal. These places are full of secrets. We are all excited. At night, we observe the sky and those mysterious lights, while during the day, we explore these magnificent tunnels. The whole area is full of these underground galleries. It will take days and days to explore them. They're of inestimable value. Who knows what kind of ancient discoveries we might find deeper inside. It's said that there were ancient underground cities here, connected to each other by a network of tunnels that were populated by obscure cults. 
In recent history, however, no human being has gone into the depths to confirm this bizarre theory. These tunnels are very dangerous indeed, as they could collapse at any moment, not to mention the risk of falling into one of these ravines. Rosa scared me when she said that she had heard a strange voice coming from the depths of the abyss. Who knows what she really heard, but it was probably just a poor animal that had fallen down there. Yes, probably. Probably. Lever. Right. Don't pull the lever. Got it. <laughs> All right. Cool. That was the uh, that was the lever of death. Yep. Cool. So just in case, we're going to click on the note, read it, just in case that needs to trigger something. Not going to pull the lever. good. Unless something's going to clock me in the skull for my troubles. No skull clocking. Wonderful. We have an abandoned camp, though. And a mysterious pool of water. glowing green. I was kind of expecting one of those uh, those statuette things here. But apparently not. Nice we've got a swimming though. Fire. Fuel. Note. We found a wonderful place for camping. Apparently it's right here among these mountains that these strange events occur. Last night we spotted strange lights in the woods. It seems the stories told about these forests are true. We immediately focused the telescope on a point where the light beams appeared. And when we looked through it, none of us could believe our eyes. We were all shocked. How come that planet was so close to the Earth? And how does one explain that it's not there anymore? We have What we have seen makes no sense. Something very strange is up there. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, I see. That does indeed look like a very close planet. Hey, Gila, step there. Fire bad. Yep, fire bad. Good. Good to know. Had to check. Okay. I'm, I'm still curious about the green glow in the little pond here. Um... Because there's what looks like a gravestone there. But I couldn't interact with it or do anything, so I guess I'm just going to walk away. Alright, so now that I've got the fuel, what horrors await me down here? Rumblies, got it. Got 
Can I have some of that dynamite now? That would be kind of great. on fire. Treating that fire and explosion situation seriously. Hmm. I see. Let's try that again. Ow. So, open fire plus dynamite plus rickety elevator equals. Get the fuck out of there as soon as possible. Plus, you know, I saw those propane bottles and I wasn't really sure. Ow. It's fine, I survived. Cool. Plus, whatever exploded out here. Oh, we got trains. Nice. So, the people that I was attempting to beat to the location, if they weren't aware that I was following them, they should be now. Bandage, please. Maybe a splint. Some meds. Damn, I have to find a way to get past that fence. I hope that building in there is something I can use to heal myself. Do we have an under? Do we have an around? We don't have an over. See, there might be an under over there, hopefully. Ah. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Ah. 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 Alright. So maybe that wasn't... Oh, that way. Okay, got it. Alright, bud. One last time. You can make it. Ow. He is not doing great. Bud, just keep stumbling. You'll be fine. Unless we're gonna get clocked on the skull again. 
Hey, we didn't get clocked in the skull again. Wonderful. Can we stumble our way to medicine? Yes. Give. Whew. First aid kit had everything I needed. My leg is so better now. All right then. Um, okay. So we have a depiction of the alien cube. Um, we have people worshiping said cube. We have various strange writings. Oh. Lovely. Spoopy noises. Muttering, chanting, etc. Uh, what the hell's inside those containers? It's a good question. Um, what containers? What are we looking at? I don't know what we're looking at. Please tell me we have a light. Dude, light controls. We do not have a light. Uh, I will, however, brightness a hair. That did not help. That did not help still. Okay, cool. I was kind of looking to see what's inside those containers because I can't really see anything other than Possibly generic goopy thing? Not really sure. Grandfather William's journal. We have so little knowledge of the world around us. The visions of the sacred places have finally begun. They distort the distorted reality they reveal is extremely fascinating. But what was I ex uh, what I experienced buh, buh. but was what I experienced real, or was it just in my head? I could feel clearly that my body was there, that it was part of that place. Next time I'll record everything with my voice recorder. I want to be absolutely sure that what I experienced wasn't just a vision. The sacred artifact has unimaginable power. I was lucky to find it while I was alone. It would be insane to let other members get a hold of it. No one must know. So he was keeping secrets from his order. Ah, there's more containers with goopy things in them. Okay, good. Uh, let's just turn that setting back down to nothing just in case I don't there's not much difference there really isn't okay so we are alive I think I have found everything that there is to find in here there's mysterious containers page of journal and that's it okay all right can I open up this gate from the inside. No, I cannot. Okay. It's kind of open that we'd have an out if necessary, but I have an axe. I have an axe. This is going to be great. Nope. Not, that's not how we're using the axe. And since I can't seem to wield it, I'm assuming it's just a tool to unlock something. Like this door, for example. Or these boards, for example. Yes, that seems accurate. Uh, what does this door then do? 
It's locked. Got it. Boo to the head? Boo to the head? I'm gonna expect a boot to the head every time we crawl through something. Door. Not door. We didn't need that stinking door anyway. It's all true. I managed to record everything. This is the confirmation I was looking for. I never imagined I would one day be walking right there in the outside. That place is beyond description. There's one thing I shouldn't underestimate, though. If I can see, I can be seen, too. Next time I'll have to tread very carefully if I want to go deeper. Something must have noticed my presence. During the exploration I sensed a dreadful, malign presence that I still can't explain. That gaze. I can still feel it upon me, even now, while I'm writing this journal. Dun, dun, dun. The whispers are back. The whispers are back. Wonderful. Can always do with the good random whispering. Yeah, it's wonderful. Pulsating, undulating things up there. Delightful. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it. Damn, my head exploded. When will this man learn to stop touching things? The head keeps exploding. God, my head. What's happened to me? Did I faint? I have to take the strange object out of here and study it in the light. Yeah, good luck with that, bud. It's so goopy. It's so goopy. Carrying it? I think I am carrying it, then hence the light. Ah. We're not going that way. flashlight now. It may be a little bit inconsistent, but it's about darn time. Mm. 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 
Sparkle, you were waiting for that, weren't you? You were waiting for that moment. Deep breath, bask in the green, warm, glowing glow. Okay. It's already nighttime. How is that possible? I must have been out here for many hours. I better go back to Uncle Edgar's apartment. I might be able to study the, the cube there. Wonderful. Now how'd I go about making it back there? I don't know where I am. Where, where am I? Oh, hi. Great. Thunderstorm. Oh, we're here. Okay, I know where we are now. Journal. The cube. This object. It's the same thing I saw in my dreams. How is that possible? I feel a strong and constant call coming from it. It's like something inside is calling me. And what really happened in that cave? I never felt anything so intense in my whole life. I must have been out for many hours as it is already nighttime. I've also experienced strange visions which are getting worse. My god, am I going crazy? I have to find out more about this object. Warning. No trespassing. Well, too late for that. I mean, I did choose to actively trespass. So that was on me, I suppose. This film grain effect is very unsettling. No, my car. Where's my car? Yeah, that. Examine. Where's my car? Yes, hi, hello? going to the spooky cabin in the woods. Is that what I'm doing? Uh, no. Not unless I can jump chasms. Alright. Spooky cabin in the woods. You get to stay right where you are. We're gonna continue following the road then.
stupid tree. going in there. We're not going in there. Oh, that's delightful. Nope. I don't know what it is, but I'm running. I'm a running. I saw it. It's big and it's got a pointy thing. Well. Oh. Um. Uh. No. Thank you. No, thank you. Imagine it at all? Uh, Okie dokie. The... My car, but how come it wasn't here before? Was everything even real? I don't understand what's happening to me. I must go back to Edgar's apartment and learn more about this strange artifact. That was intense. Back at Edgar's. The members of the Order are everywhere, and now they know I'm in possession of the cube. I'm lucky to have found it before they did. From now on, I must be careful. These people are fanatical, and I mustn't allow them to catch me. I'm sure I'll find more information in Edgar's apartment. I hope it's safe there. I mean, you already got clocked in the skull once there. I don't think that really constitutes a safe. I think now might be as good a time as any for a little bit of a BRB. Alright, I am back. And that uh, took a little longer than expected because, well, tis winter season. And with very convenient timing, I suddenly got a bloody nose. So I had to go fix that for a little bit. But we're all better now. So now chapter four, back at Edgar's. So now we are alone, supposedly alone. Before I start looking for clues in the apartment, I have to find a safe place to hide the cube. Mm -hmm. Oh, newspaper. I didn't even see this. Or maybe this is new. Mitchell case. The mystery of Mr. Mitchell's disappearance deepens. Research interrupted because of bad weather picture. The remains of Edgar Mitchell's charred cabin. Ah, okay, so this is, right, Edgar Mitchell uncle. Got it. One month after Edgar, Edgar Mitchell's disappearance, the police have identified uh, his probable whereabouts at the time of his disappearance. This is thought to have been the family cabin, a small building deep in the mountains at an altitude of 1,500 meters. The building was found completely destroyed by fire. The search team's arrival in the area has been partially difficult, uh, particularly diffi difficult, difficult, due to the recent heavy snowfalls. The cabin can only be reached on foot via steep and challenging mountain paths, which are very dangerous to walk on, on at this time of year. According to the detective Damiano, the dynamics of the blaze are clear. The fire appears to have started at the fireplace, which had been left unattended for a long time. Which reminds me of the fireplace that I have left unattended at my new place previously. It's fine. No, it, nothing bad could happen. Abundant traces of blood have been found at the front of the cabin, suggesting that Edgar was wounded, probably because of the blaze itself. However, following the traces left by him leading towards the woods prove, uh, provided no clues because, although initially clearly visible, they were found to disappear unexplainably in the vicinity of the cabin. Another myster uh, mystery complicates the case still further. Edgar's traces are not the only ones observed at the site. 
The police have found other tracks next to his, but their origin and shape are unclear. Detective Damiano was not at liberty to divulge too much information, but he described the footprints as having been made by something huge and very heavy. Today, the search has been suspended because of the bad weather, uh, and this suggests that there's little chance of finding Edgar still alive in the mountains, where the temperature is currently well below freezing. Let's see. I died here. I see. Right then. So, I need to find somewhere to hide the cube. Why is this open? Oh, gross. Um, I have to find a place to, to hide the cube first. Well, this one. No, okay. Oh. I don't remember seeing that creepy dude there before. Unnerving. I can't hide the cube in Edgar's apartment. They will find it immediately. Where the hell am I supposed to hide the cube, then? I don't have access to any of the doors. I can't just throw it out the window. Can I put it under here? Oh, okay. Box? Arrow. Nope, not arrow. Got it. Can't leave. Oh, I can go up now. Great. This place is lovely. I'll hide the cube here until I do my research in Edgar's apartment. I might find the answers I've been looking for there. That is a creepy, mysterious door. Lovely. do well wandering the dark without any source of light whatsoever. Never mind when there's a bunch of creepy ass noises around me. Can I just leave? No. Okay. See? That. Right there. I know there's supposed to be a hallway there. But they don't even give they don't even give me the the benefit of a cracked doorway that has a light coming out of it. There's literally nothing that way. I don't approve. I don't approve at all. That did absolutely nothing. Well, let's, uh, let's put you down. What? Do we just go forward and hope for the best? Because I can't see. Ah, I can see. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh huh. Just what I wanted. On the horsey. Lovely. Yes, 
say hello. Oh, going to the mysterious flash pit again. Mm-hmm. working now? It does not. Okay. Uh, this one. Oh, that one works. Game, that is an unnecessary jump scare. There's a sound coming from up in the attic, but the trap door is locked. Great. Alright, so it wasn't either of those, so was it this? It was. Lever here. Bullet. Well, I don't like that sound. It's squidgy. Whatever it was, squidged its way through the mirror. What happened here? This disgusting substance seemed to have come out of the mirror. Well, that's what I said. Uh, squidged its way out of the mirror, decided to play the piano for a little bit, and then vanished? Question mark? It'd be really great if that light switch worked, but apparently we're not going to get that. Um, okay, so now we have this door open. Not sure what we're seeing. They're practically pitch black. I see an archway and some floating stones. And then, of course, we have these lovely characters. Oh, we have a chest. A locked chest. Secured with a strange mechanism. All right. It's time to read the journal. Was that place really my father's secret hideout? It's difficult to believe, but everything suggests it was. I tried to bring as many things as I could with me to examine them here in my study. Many of his notes are written in language that I don't know. However, this is his handwriting, I'm sure. Those bizarre photos did nothing more than lead me to ask more questions. 
Those landscapes are so surreal. And what the hell are those huge structure, structures in the distance? It looks like my father was doing research into an ancient artifact and its connection to some mysterious places populated some, some sort of horrible beings. Though, but what does this all mean? What was he really working on? In the shed there were some strange statuettes and old cassette too. I brought them here to study them. <gasps> There's someone in the apartment. Closet. Hide. Is it safe to come out? Well, that's a darn good question. Is it safe to come out? Alright, I apparently don't get to listen to those tapes. But that's fine, I suppose. Attic is open. Oh god, that's that picture right there disturbed me very briefly thinking someone was there. Oh. Hello? I can't see shit, by the way. Like, I legit can't navigate because it's so friggin' dark. And I get that that's part of the purpose, but I do like being able to see. Here we go. and burbles and gurgles and growls. Oh my. It's very green over here. Hmm, what strange machinery? What if I place the cube here? Aha! Uh -huh. This strange contraption is the most mysterious object that I took from my father's secret hideout. What's its function? It seems that it allows the creation of a small magnetic field, but something's missing for sure. There was an ancient metal door near the hideout, but I wasn't able to open it. It may lead deep into the mountain, but what I need is probably right there. The whole area is full of tunnels and old galleries. People say that, these, uh, that in these mountains there's a huge web of underground passages that stretch for miles. But now that I think of it, the family cabin is not very far from that place. It's right at the top of the mountain. What if somehow everything's connected by the tunnels? Are there more of them around there? First of all, I should, I should go to the cabin and check it out. I'll leave early in the morning. Cabin. Indeed. So, I'm supposed to bring the cube here. There will be spoops along the way, I am sure of it.
Great. Uh huh. Door. Didn't trust that door. I don't trust any angles. Don't trust the angles. Don't. Everything will come out and jump at you at some point. Door. Hallway. Cube. Behind me. I don't trust anything. This game has led me to have zero trust. Yeah, like that. But... <sighs> Game, I swear to God. Stop being a spooky bitch. Fine, I'll crawl through and get my head blasted again. Ew. It's even grosser with light. All right, here we go. What's gonna come out of the woodwork at me now? Nothing, I disbelieve. Nothing yet. Place cube. Ah, my face. I exploded. Cube has made a fleshy pit for me to go down. Wonderful. Alright, see you later, Cube. I'm sure I'll be back for you some other point. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, my cube. My cube's gone. My cube. Uh, my head. Am I still alive? Uh, uh. What's happening to me? A very good question. Where's my cube? Where's my cube? And why is it suddenly extra light in here? Like, everything is very visible now. Like this. I couldn't see what these jars were before. I couldn't see that there was a table there before. So suddenly we have... Light? Alright. Well, I don't trust anything still. I also don't know where we're actually going. Oh. That's why everything's light. Because it's an entirely different location. I see. Okay, everything's boarded up. I didn't actually pay attention to the um, pictures on the wall to notice if those are different, but that's fine. Door. Oh. What? what does this mean? Okay. Lovely.
Not that way. It's locked, luckily for me. I don't like the sound coming from in there at all. I also don't like the sound coming from up ahead. What happened here? What is this place? It's locked. Oh. That's certainly something. My god, am I dreaming? Is that a phone? Oh, kinder, you have missed so much. I have... I have become king of the mountain. I have gone into the deepest depths of oceanic trenches that shouldn't be there. And now I am wandering through a Lovecraftian hellscape, trying to escape whatever the fuck is going on here. I do not like this place. That strange substance is entering his body. also being entered um so this game among many many other games really likes for things to be pitch black like i don't know if you guys can see anything but like there's supposed to be a body here i'm pretty sure that's covered in cloth there's there's one right there too that just barely shows up in the light like i can't see that it's way too dark it's really hard to get the full ambient effect if I can't see any of the effects. Red gear room. Uh, the machines are huge. Who could have built them? Yeah, like I have no idea if there's anything in this corner. No idea. Not a clue. This corner, perhaps? 
Not a clue. Maybe down wasn't the right answer. Maybe we go up. Fire doesn't emit any heat. Need some kind of mechanism to open it. You mean that mechanism I was just at downstairs and didn't have any options to pull levers at random? Alright, fine. I have a feeling that if I touch that thing, I'm going to get sliced. So I'm not going to touch that thing right now. Okay, so there's not very many options at the moment. There's up, and there's down, and there's back where I came from, basically. I think I've heard of that one. I don't think I've seen any gameplay of it. So what, what am I missing in the dark? Am I going to have to turn my monitor's light up so I can see? Gears. What's this all for? What if I tried to stop the gears? Yeah. Well, what if I did try to stop the gears? Assuming that would require having a thing to jam in there to stop the gears. Is there something over here? There's a wall behind me. No idea. So what am I... This is, this is the first time where it's been very ambiguous what I'm supposed to do next. Iron bar. Well, I would not say that. I mean, I did, I did see that, technically. But, there's more chance than anything. Alright, jam it all up in there. the blood to drain off my screen. <laughs> Chances are if it's a puzzle game, I won't finish it. Just saying. Puzzle games tend to start off nice and chill and lovely and wonderful to play. And then get to a level of difficulty that I can no longer pass. Running, 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 whatever it is, I'm running, I'm running, running, running. Kinda wanna know what's running. What am I running from? What am I running from? Nothing. I missed the opportunity to see what I was running from. So we have stopped the Blades of Doom. Um, 
I mean, that does sound like a standard double fine description. Yep. Something's missing here. God dang, damn it. Now what? I mean, it's a lever of some kind, but can I just have my metal bar back? some of this. Box. Box. After Bramble, we did a game called The Trench, which was like a 45 minute deep sea terror game. I'm pretty sure we got stared at by Dagon at the end, I'm not entirely clear. Which one was Silt again? I, it sounds familiar, but I know I haven't played it. some random thing on the floor I'm supposed to pick up again, but I do not know where said random thing is. didn't interest me too much. I, the, the aesthetics of it weren't at all something that interested me. Alright, so I can't, I can't go in there. Oh, I can't. Hello. My god, what sort of creature is this? What were they doing to it? I have to take that lever. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever you are, I'm sorry. Hi. All right, lever. You okay in there, bud? They're not okay. I don't blame you. I'm not okay either.
か。But I can't, I can't fly. Ah. We go. I died. Alright, so that was not the answer. <laughs> Running and jumping across the pit of lava is not the answer to that question. Um, sticks. Sticks. Door. Jumping. Lever thing. Oh. Well, I didn't see this. What's this? Hot water. Got it. Ow. <gasps> what? What? What just happened? I didn't. I didn't even get to see the spook that time. He was just suddenly spooked. I'm missing something. Am I supposed to just run through the hot water? And just deal with it? Ow. Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. Key. Thanks, random hanging man. What on earth? Or off of earth? What the... How is this possible? Where am I? What, um... What am I even looking at? Be better if I didn't know. Alright. Hot shower. Yep, this place is lovely. That phone that was going off before. Hello, phone. Oh, hello, Cthulhu statues. Ah, my brain again. This game hates my brain. Could you not? Please? I'm just gonna, gonna hide back here. Maybe fine back here, right? No one will see me. Why is that even there? Am I supposed to hide back there? I'm I'm very confused. I get Nightmare Hellscape, but what's going on? Not to work. Ah. I am coming to say hello to whoever you are.
Oh, it's probably not over. The cube. The dungeon. What was that crazy place? Did I have another vision? No. What I've experienced can't simply be my imagination. That place was real, and I was really there, I'm sure. It's like I was living in another reality, like I was trapped in an endless nightmare. The cube must be the cause of all this. What's its real purpose? Who made it? Solid questions, my dude. Alright, so am I supposed to go up and hug the cube again? I think so. Let's go hug the cube. Cube is gone. I have to find it at all costs, but how? I just had to go to the old cabin where Edgar disappeared. I might for find more answers there. Indeed. Down, down. Can this just be a simple walk to the door? Can we not have spoops? Can we just leave? We can just leave. Lovely. Wonderful. Chapter 5. The Gas Station. I can't get that place out of my head. What I saw has been in my head the whole day. Or the whole way. Edgar's cabin must be somewhere among the mountains. I didn't imagine it was this high up. There's a lot of snow here. It's freezing outside. There should be a gas station just ahead, but a fallen tree is blocking the road. I'll have to leave the car here and continue on foot. That's a brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. And I'm gonna leave it here because my poor heart can't take much more. Um, this game so far is kind of spooky. And I'm really liking the ambience of it all, but there are a few jump scares that I'm having a hard time with. I'm trying to muscle through it because it's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, the Alien Cube. I have no idea how long this game is or how much is left, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep doing it until it's done. So previously we finished um, Bramble the Mountain King, and then we did a 45-minute dive into the trench. And then we have started the Alien Cube. So it was a productive night. And I'm done being productive for tonight. I'm gonna go make some soup or something. Kinder, thanks for hanging out. Anyone else who may still be lurking out there? I know it's been a little bit quiet, but it's fine. I, I see you lurking. And I appreciate y'all hanging out. I'm gonna go make some soup and cuddle a kitty and stop being scared or something. See? He, he has already come to offer his services of cuddle. I appreciate you, Gizmo. So that'll be it for the spoops for tonight. Thank y'all for coming. I'll see you next time. Bye.